What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and welcome to another episode of GBGW. Today we claim login bonus, day 12, 5 tier 2 awakening circuits. We claim day 9 of 2020 spring login bonus, 1 spring capsule ticket. Day 9, 1 spring event ticket. Then we get day 2 of the Slugger of Neo America. 150 hardships and that is it all right so we jump straight into notices so here we go event multi-mission demon lord satan gundam is live so this is the multi-mission that we've been uh talking about in the past few episodes um so i actually played this this morning and it was pretty fun um it was a lot more challenging than the big zam and i think that a lot of players uh, are probably looking for a multi-mission that is pretty much this. So if you guys haven't done it yet, I urge you guys to do it. I will actually be posting uh, multi-mission gameplay separately on my channel and stuff like that. It's also on my IGTV for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram. If you don't, my Instagram handle is Gumplet Collection. So uh, you guys can find my gameplay video that I posted um, on my Instagram as well. All right, and then I accidentally exited out. Let's jump back in. All right, let's go ahead and see here. Campaign, free EX skill and part trade upgrade item trial on now. Uh, free trial campaign will be held for EX skill and part trade upgrade items until March 5th, 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Campaign details. During the campaign period, you can get one skill upgrade knife all and one trait upgrade tw uh, tweezers all as a login bonus using these items will allow you to upgrade ex skills and part traits free ex skill and part trait upgrade item trial campaign period from march 10th 8 p.m pacific daylight time to may 5th 8 p.m pacific daylight time so um if you guys haven't checked your gift box yet make sure to check it and claim these two items because this is actually very very nice the fact that they were nice enough to provide us with one of each all right other than that obtain new gunpla parts and ai pilots from the gundam battle festival and ai pilots pickup capsule available until march 18th 8 p.m pacific daylight time so the gundam battle festival for the gundam barbados lupus and gundam vidar is released and um, that is very exciting so i will be doing roles for this um, but with that being said, let's jump straight into gift box first. Let me claim all the rewards that I, that I received from logging in. So claim all. Yes. All right. Very nice. All right. Jumping into capsule now. Spring capsule. Let's go ahead and do the rule here. So one. Yes. And touch. Tier threes, okay. Alrighty, so also to mention here, the Unicorn Revival is now gone. It is now the Freedom Gundam. So the Freedom Gundam is available for the Sokai Festival Revival. For those of you guys that want to roll for the Freedom, make sure to do so before um, March 17th at... 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Other than that, Gundam Battle Festival, Barbados Lupus. Let's see the drop rate real quick. So the drop rate in the normal pool is 0.624% for each Barbados part. Now in the prime pool, you'll see that it's a major jump. So you have a 1.950% chance of getting a Barbados Lupus um, if you do happen to pull a tier 4 part. Um, so once again, that's 22% chance with a 5.9, almost a 2% chance of getting the Barbados Lupus. So that is pretty nice. Anyway, let's go and take a look now. So the Barbados Lupus head armor comes in, well, armor and melee defense both come in at 1356 EX skill at level 10. I am not even going to try to pronounce this because I could not pronounce it to save my life. Limit Breaker, Category Awakening, Effect Time, 44 seconds, cooldown, 12 seconds first time, 60 seconds after. Break the system's limit to temporarily increase your unit's performance. 
Raise your speed by 20%. Raise your melee attack by 39%. Your Gunpla resists flinching for a set period of time. So that is very nice. War attack, close combat, and pro tag. So that these two are actually really, really good um, war tags for melee builds. All right, so with a tier five mark on it, armor and melee defense both go up to 1898, and shot attack goes up to 1352. Not bad. All right, so with the chest, armor and melee defense both come in at 1734. With the tier five mark, armor and melee defense both change to 2427, and melee, well actually, yeah, shot defense comes in at 1352. All right, part trait at level 10, while pro tag, EX skill cooldown reduced 20%, war tag, close combat and pro tag. So th this chest piece, is actually really nice for those of you guys that use a lot of EX skills and are using it constantly. So, um, I mean, with Pro Tag on it, you get that skill cooldown reduction. So that is pretty nice. All right, arm wise, uh, melee attack comes in at 3312 and melee defense comes in at 1734. With the tier five mark, Melee attack goes up to 4636, and melee defense goes up to 2470, uh, 2427. EX skill level 10, 200mm arm rifle, category physical shot, pierce D, power B+, cooldown 6 seconds first time, 21 seconds after. Attack enemies with 200mm rifles equipped to your arms. Word tag, close combat and high firepower, so that is very interesting to see that. The arms is actually just, I guess the EX skill makes up for it, but the arms are okay. All right, so for the legs, melee defense comes in at 1734 with the tier five mark equipped. Armor comes in, well, armor and shot defense both come in at 1352 and melee defense comes in at 2427. Part rate at level 10 with technique attribute self, melee crit rate boosted 30%. We're tagged close combat and Gundam type very interesting so it changes one of the word tags hmm backpack wise melee defense comes in at 1734 with a tier 5 mark equipped uh armor and shot defense both come in at 1352 and melee defense goes up to 2427 ex skill level 10 wolf's howl category physical melee pierce d power a cooldown 20 seconds first time 79 seconds after Grind enemies to dust with your twin maces. Raise speed of your squad by 20%. Raise melee attack of your squad by 29%. And raise melee defense of your squad by 19%. So this is the cutscene EX skill for the Barbados Lupus. And it seems pretty dope. Considering that it is raising everything of your squad in terms of speed and melee attack and defense. So that's nice. War attack, close combat, and Gundam type. So this is probably going to be the most sought after Gundam part for the Barbados Lupus. All right, Sword Mace, which is surprisingly an ax. Uh, melee attack comes in at 4110, pretty nice. Um, with a tier five mark equipped, uh, melee attack goes up to 5754. EX skill at level 10. Mace Rush, Category Physical Melee, Pierce D, Power C, cooldown 6 seconds first time and 21 seconds after, blow away the enemy with your sword mace, then leap into the air, pulverizing them on the way down. Raise your melee defense by 24%. War Tag, Close Combat, and Pro Tag. So if you guys don't care about this EX skill and you just want the raw melee attack, this is actually going to be a really nice weapon, a uh, melee weapon. I'm gonna correct myself melee weapon to own now if you have this and arena goes back to where it's Oh, you can only use axe weapons. You are in luck because this is Probably by far the most strongest axe weapon there is in the game All right last but not least for the lupus uh, we have twin maces so melee attack comes in at 4110 with a tier 5 mark equipped, melee attack goes up to 5754. Uh, 54. 
Parts rate level 10, 15% chance of attacks, penetrating super armor, or attack close combat, and high firepower. Alright, so, I mean, if you do get this weapon, it's still not bad considering the fact that the melee attack is still up there. Um, your melee attacks will be a lot quicker instead of the heavy swing on one side to the other. So that is pretty nice. Alright, so here we have the Vidar, same thing with the drop rate, so I'm not going to go over that. So, for the Vidar head, shot attack comes in at 29.22, with a tier 5 mark equipped. Armor comes in at 13.51, and shot attack raises to 40.90. EX skill, uh, system type E, uh, well this is EX skill level 10, I'm sorry I completely messed that one up. Category, awakening, effect time 44 seconds, cooldown 12 seconds first time, 60 seconds after. Break the system to temporarily increase your unit's performance. Raise your speed by 20%. Raise your melee attack by 39%. Raise your vernier capacity by 25%. Very interesting. War attack, gun of type, and high mobility. The head is quite interesting to be honest, but I don't think I would really want the head of the Vidar. Anyway, the chest armor comes in at 1734 with the tier 5 mark equipped. Armor raises to 2427. Melee attack, shot attack, melee defense, and shot defense all total will all come in at 30 no 1351. Part trade at level 10. While high mobility, EX skill damage taken reduced by 35. War attack, gunum type, and high mobility. Now all in all, with just taking a look at the Vidar parts that we've seen so far, it's not really that impressive. Alright, arms. Melee attack comes in at 29.22 and shot attack comes in at 13.56. Very interesting. This is like the wing Gundam arms. Alright, with a tier 5 mark equipped, melee attack goes up to uh, 40.90. Armor comes in at 13.51. Shot attack goes up to 18.98. Part trade level 10, outfighter job, melee crit rate boosted 30%. Or attack, Gundam type and high mobility. So I guess this is an in-between of the Unicorn Gundam Arms and the Wing Gundam Arms considering the fact that it has both melee and shot attack stats. So I guess in a sense quite viable. Alright for the legs which looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, armor comes in, at, oh well, armor, melee attack, melee and shot defense all come in at 965 with a tier 5 mark equipped. Armor, melee attack, melee, and shot defense goes up to 1351. EX skill level 10, Demon's Hunt. Category, physical melee, pierce, A minus, power, A. Wow. Cooldown, 20 seconds first time, 79 seconds after. Crush enemies with a combination attack using Hunter's Edge, Handgun, and Burst Saber. Raise speed of your squad by 20%. Raise melee attack of your squad by 29%. Raise shot attack of your squad by 19%. So this is a pair of legs everyone will want to try to get. For those of you guys that don't care whether or not they roll for the Barbados Lupus or, well actually yeah, the Barbados Lupus or the Vidar. Um, in all honesty, I think I would prefer the Vidar legs considering the fact that you have a nice pierce and power um, grade. And not only that, it's raising both melee and shot attack of your squad as well as speed. War tag, Gundam type and close combat. Now I'm debating, should I just roll for the Vidar? Alright, same with the backpack. Armor, melee attack, melee and shot defense all come in at 965 with a tier 5 mark equipped. Armor, melee attack, melee defense and shot defense goes up to 1351. Part trade level 10 with speed attribute self, melee power boosted 30%. Word tag, gunum type and close combat. All right, Burst Saber. Melee attack comes in at 3690 with the tier five mark equipped. Melee attack goes up to 5166. Very interesting. Part trait level 10 with speed attribute self, job gauge increase boosted 17%. War attack, Gundam type and high mobility. All right, last but not least, 110 millimeter rifle. Um, shot attack comes in at 3690 with a tier 5 mark equipped. Shot attack goes up to 5166. Oof. 
Part 3, level 10. When armor is 80% or less, enemy strong melee power reduced 30%. War attack, Gundam type, and high mobility. <laughs> so very interesting. I will be... I think I'll be rolling for the Virar for Chance of the Legs. Um, those are really nice. Alright, so here we go. We have Milardo, Peacecraft. He is an Outfighter and a melee attack comes in at 1602. Part trait level 10. With technique attribute self, Vernier consumption reduced 20%. Word attack, close combat and high mobility. So I'm guessing this AI pilot would do very well if you had a full Vidar build, considering the fact that it has both close combat and high mobility. <laughs> Alright, here we have Mashmir Silo. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and butchering it left and right, but I don't really care. Uh, at this point, this guy is uh, Defender, Armor, and Melee Attack come in at 889. Portrait level 10 with Power Attribute Self, Debuff EX Skill Time up 16%. Word Attack, Xeon, and Force Space. Alright, so that is pretty much it. We will go ahead and do our free daily rewards here. Alright, in touch. Alright, and actually this morning when I did the free polls because it refreshes every time a new event comes out, um, I actually pulled Lock on Stratos, which is pretty nice. Alright, one time free, yes. And I actually didn't expect to pull Lock on Stratos to be honest, but I'm happy. Alright, and touch. Alright, last but not least we have our friend capsules, so free, yes. And touch. Alright, and let me just go ahead and go to upgrade real quick and just show you guys. Here we go, so I pulled lock on Stratos on my free daily poll well it's not really a daily thing considering the fact that it was just uh new parts getting added into the capsule so they provided everyone with a free poll again so i did pull lock on i max him out so i'm actually excited with lock on stratos here added to my ai pilot list Alrighty, with that let's jump in the shop real quick come on and exchange and let's go ahead and go over the slugger coin exchange so here we have the maxter all right so with the maxter armor and melee defense both come in at 889 with two with two tier five marks equipped armor and melee defense goes up to 1600 and shot attack goes up to four uh, 1004 uh, part trait level 10, Outfighter Job, EX Skill Piercing Boost 22%. Word Tag, Mobile Fighter and Close Combat. Alright, with the chest, Armor and Melee Defense both come in at 1142. With two Tier 5 Marks equipped, Armor and Melee Defense go up to 2055. And Shot Defense goes up, um, Shot Defense comes in at uh, 1004. EX Skill level 10, Hyper Mode. Category Awakening, Effect Time 51 seconds, Cooldown 12 seconds first time, 60 seconds after. Enter Hyper Mode for Enhanced Combat Prowess. Raise your speed by 20%, raise your melee and shot attack by 19%. Word Tag Mobile Fighter and Close Combat. So this is actually a part that I recommend getting a tier 5 of and maxing out. Alright, the arms. Melee attack comes in at 2300. And melee defense comes in at 1142. EX skill level 10. Cyclone burning machine gun punch. Hmm. Category physical melee. Pierce D power B. Cooldown 6 seconds first time, 21 seconds after. Unleash a tornado with your left fist and do up to 10 rapid fire punches with your right. Very interesting. I would like to see the EX skill when I get the part. Word tag. Mobile fighter and close combat. Alright, so the. I think I did the arms already. The wrong part. Alright, legs. Melee defense comes in at 1142. 
EX skill level 10, uh, gigantic magnum category, beam shot, pierce D, power B, cooldown 6 seconds first time, 21 seconds after, fire the twin pistols on your waist. Um, I forgot about this. With two tier 5 marks equipped, armor and shot defense raises up to 1004, and melee defense raises up to 2055. Or tag mobile fighter and for urban area. All right, so with the backpack, melee um, melee defense comes in at 1142. Portrait level 10 with power attribute self, 13% chance not to recoil. With two tier five marks equipped, armor and shot defense goes up to 1004, and melee defense goes up to 2055. Or tag mobile fighter and for urban area. All right, so that is it for the Gundam Maxter. If we take a look here, the gears, very simple. Um, all the parts here are pretty much the same. And of course we have standard capsule tickets and skip tickets. Alrighty, so with that being said, um, that is actually going to be it for today's episode. It is very short, but that is because I am attending a build night event. Um, in a few hours, so I need to prep for that. But other than that guys tomorrow's episode I will be doing um, Gameplay runs for the current event as well as doing um, The raid battles so the multi-mission so that you guys can see all the gameplays and stuff like that And then on Friday Friday is going to be the day I will be choosing either to roll for the Barbados Lupus or the Vidar, but um, if you guys would like to see me roll for whichever capsule, let me know down in the comments. I will be choosing the one with the most votes and I'll roll for that. But other than that, guys, if you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out for GBGW, make sure to give my videos a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of the current event and the raid battles if you've done it. Um, other than that, don't forget, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys can stay up to date with all the new videos I post for GBGW or anything Gunpla related. All right, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.